Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the new JD Robot from Easy Robot. For your very own, check out the link down below. Now, this here is actually a humanoid robotic kit that allows you to create your own robot that can dance, sing, talk, and so much more. So it should be quite fun to try it out. But before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before building it. Alright, so this here is our box and as you can tell it's got a very nice clean cut professional look to it. On the bottom it does emphasize that you can build, play, and learn. Now on the top here it kind of shows a little bit more in details that it can learn, track, sing, talk, move, dance, and interact as well. Note it does have a camera in here as well as a microphone. So it's got a lot of robotic technology into it as well as cutting edge technology we haven't seen yet. Now if you look on the back here, uh, it talks a little bit more about in details which you can actually read down in the description below. Uh, you can also always customize your robot with different extension parts as well as sensors and much more. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Alright, so on the top here we actually have our start guide right here. Uh, kind of talks about how to get started. You have to download the Easy Builder and then you can it shows you step by step how to build it. Uh, it talks about clip and play servos and here are all the different parts. So we got some decals as well. So that's really cool. Uh, and then over here we got different parts. So this here is the head. Uh, so it's actually almost the size of like uh, baseball itself. You can see a camera here. Uh, the movement of the head actually it looks like there's two different pivots. Uh, so you can actually move up and down and left and right. Uh, so these are all just kind of clip and play which is nice. Uh, I do not see any screws here so that's actually another thing that you should realize about this robot that there's no screws involved at all and it's all clip and play which is actually a very interesting concept. Uh, so it makes it very easy to build things as well as change things so it's actually very nice. Um, so we got a bunch of servos. Uh, most of the parts are already put together so it's really just kind of clip in and kind of start them up and see what happens. So here's our chip uh, and then we have some more different servos, a lot of different servos going on in here. Uh, this here is our main body itself as you can tell. <clears throat> so the back here is where the battery would probably plug into. Uh, we got some wires, we got charging cables, uh, we got tubes. Uh, these are here to hide the wires. Uh, if you open this up here, what are, I'm not sure what these are. Oh, these are actually, oh that's nice. So they gave us uh, universal adapters to charge our robot. Uh, and then this here is our battery. So very simple kit. Uh, so it's actually very easy to build compared to some of the other humanoid robots we've done. So let's go ahead and cue that montage and build ourselves a JD. Alright, so our JD robot is finally done and as you can tell it looks really cool. It's actually got a lot of small details to it and is actually really easy to build. It doesn't require any screws and it's just literally clip and play. So with that being said, let's go ahead and fire them up and see what's going on. So just turn on the on button and you can note that he has LEDs in his eyes and these actually change as he actually performs. Uh, in addition, you do have the camera on top here and then he does have claws as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect to his Wi-Fi. This will give me control over him, which is actually a lot better than Bluetooth because it actually gives you better range of motion as well as a more quicker and prompt response. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the Easy Builder app. Uh, and then what you can do is you create an account and you can download different apps that people make. Uh, but for now what we'll do is we'll look at the official JD app. Uh, and then just go ahead and hit open. Then we have to click connect. We're going to go ahead and scan for our robot. Uh, click on that and then connect and our JD robot is ready to go. So we'll go ahead and hit not now for now to update it and then click on remote control. Uh, and then as you can note you do actually have a full control over his camera so you can actually see what he's seeing. So if I move the camera you'll actually see what he's looking around at uh, and you can actually see his head moving as well. So pretty interesting on how they designed that. Now, in addition, you have control, uh, the basic th uh, controls to move them around. So, uh, movement-wise, turn, left, right, uh, forward, etc. 
Uh, on the top here, you can actually control uh, this pose as well as this microphone uh, in which you can actually say something. So if I hit record, hi, this is Conflicts, and hit stop recording and hit play. Hi, this is Conflicts, and hit stop. He'll actually repeat back what you said, and then you can actually program the different numbers and control it using that. Uh, so if you look at it in, in addition, uh, you can see it says Wii Remote. You can actually control them using a Wii Remote as well as a Mayo, which I'll be showing in a little bit. Just kind of demonstrating the different things you can do with JD. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functions. So these here are basic movements we'll be looking at. So first we'll have them wave. <laughs> uh, then we'll have him act like a gorilla. So he's like beating his chest. Uh, this is him thinking. Uh, then what we'll have him do is we'll have him do some sit-ups. <laughs> so you do get a lot of different motions with them. And then he'll get back up again. And then uh, what we'll have him do is uh, sit down. And then we can have him like wave while he's sitting. And then we can have him stand right back up again. Uh, this here is fly. <laughs> so that was pretty interesting. Uh, these are hand dances. And then uh, you can just go ahead and stop. Uh, and then on the top right here, it kind of gives you a little bit more things you can do. So this is disco. So it's like a disco kind of movement. Uh, then you can have him do like a push-up, which is very general among other humanoid robots. So, you know, he does that among other things as well. So he'll get right back up. Uh, here's a headstand. Yeah, so then you'll come back down. Uh, then you can hit random eyes. So you can see his eyes will be changing colors by clicking that. So pretty interesting that you can actually have control over that as well. Uh, this here is a somersault, so you don't really see too many robots doing that nowadays. So he performed a somersault, which is really cool that he has all these different functions. Alright, so let's go ahead and have JD do his first dance. We're going to pretend this is his microphone, just watch.
<laughs> that was pretty interesting. You know, I love how he actually grabs the microphone and he'll drop it at one point too. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is actually the camera feature. Uh, so if I click on camera here, it'll actually pop up a screen where it shows you what he's seeing. And then you can actually track different things from color, face, and much more. So let's do color and we'll do the color blue for now. Uh, and then I have a blue pen right here that I'm gonna show him. Here you go. And you'll follow it. So it kind of gives you an idea. Uh, so if we go back here, there's other things you can do as well. Uh, you can actually like uh, create your own animations uh, and you can just pretty much do just about everything in here. Uh, you can control his eye colors as well. You can do flashing, uh, you can do scanner, uh, you can do spin, uh, disco, and much, much more. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, you can create your own as well. Uh, then if we go back here, uh, you can actually go into Blocky. So this actually is like uh, programming mode where you can, you can actually use all his different features and create your own animations uh, and your own code. All right, so in addition to that, you can actually take photos with him as well, uh, in which you can actually upload to Instagram for you. So with that being said, you know, this guy actually offers a lot of different capabilities. In addition, you can actually create your own apps, and then you can always use different functionalities such as the Mayo, which I'll be posting in a separate video to show you guys. So if you guys had any questions about JD, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.